All right, welcome to another Honeymoon Hikers 2010 story from our through, first through hike of the AT. We've made it to Vermont. And the one thing we remembered about Vermont that was amazing was we went into a little town called Wallingford and hardly any of the hikers ever go into that town, but we figured we'd go in there and check it out and get a pizza. And we get into town, we get our pizza, we resupply what little money we had left before we got over to Killington to get, get a care package. And uh, we were standing on the street corner trying to hitchhike back up to the crossing where the AT crosses the road. And this lady was walking her dog and she stopped and said, are you through hiking AT? And we said, yes. And she, we kept talking and she said, well, our pastor just left. And uh, if he was here, he'd let y'all stay the night with him. And uh, we said, well, we're from Virginia. And she said, well, he's from Virginia. So that kind of hit things off. And she said, well, I would give you a ride back to the trail, but I've got a small car and I don't think I could get you in. And we said, that's fine, we'll get a ride. So we started hitching and she went and got her car and it started sprinkling rain. So she pulls in and gives us a ride. So we're going to the trail and it's raining harder. And she looks at my wife and says, are y'all going to sleep in this tonight? And she said, well, we have no choice. We have to. And she says, yeah, you do. You're coming home with me. Taking for granted, she'd never had a hiker in her house before. And right, right when we pulled in the driveway, she said, I can't wait for you to meet my husband. Well, we thought he's going to throw us out because she didn't even call and say, hey, is it all right to bring him home? So we go in the house, and as the trail provides, I do physical therapy, home health. He was getting physical therapy, home health. He had a logging accident, had broke his ankle, and had surgery, so he was getting home health. So we hit it off. Um, and then that night, they said, would you like to stay another night, and we'll slack pack you from Killington back to our house, and we'll wash your clothes and do all that while you're hiking. And we said, sure. So they did that, and then when we got up, she had a backpack ready for us, sandwiches, drinks, everything. So we did that. And then they said, would you like to take a zero tomorrow? We want to take you to our lake house and go inner tubing and all that. So we went and did double tubing, met the guy that does the Geico commercials. Uh, and then on our way back, they said, we'd like to stop at Walmart and resupply you. And so and we'd already told you, no, 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 y'all have done enough. And they said, no, we want to. And we thought we was going to get like one box or enough to get us five days. They literally bought us enough food to get to Mount Katahdin, five boxes and bought my wife a jacket for the whites and stuff. They were so nice, so generous, so kind. And so that night, they said, go ahead and get showered up. We're gonna take you to the five-star restaurant that all the ski people from Killington go eat at. So then we went there and had steak and lobster buffet or whatever it was, but it was amazing. So the next morning, she had to work and her husband took us back to the trail over at the Long Trail Inn where the trail crosses there. And so that was just an amazing, amazing, trail magic amazing people and uh we're still friends with them today because we every time we through hike we go by and visit them so that's our story from vermont and now we got two more states to go to finish up and thank you all for joining us